How would you like a free cruising day? I'm talking about not spending any extra money at Coco Cay. I'm sorry, perfect day at Coco Cay. Perfect because you're not spending any extra money. I'm Brian, tips for cruisers. Let me show you how my family and I are able to go to Coco Cay and not spend any extra money. The first thing you wanna do when you get off the ship is get to a beach probably, or a pool. And one thing you might wanna consider is taking the tram only because the furthest beach away is gonna be close to a 15 minute walk. If you have mobility issues, you are definitely gonna to wanna to take a tram. Also, there are wheelchairs or sand wheelchairs available for use on the island for free. Now, let's find that beach chair. Which beach do I wanna to go to or which pool? If you're looking to go to a beach, there are four different beaches on Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Now, the first beach is gonna be Chill Island as you get off to the pier to the left. Then it'll be Breezy Bay at Chill Island, Harbor Beach, and South Beach. South Beach is gonna be the furthest away, while Harbor Beach is an inlet. And so there's not gonna be any waves and it's great for children. So if you've got small children, Harbor Beach, in my opinion, is the best beach to go to. Now, if you see any beds at these places, those do cost money. But any of the beach chairs or beach chairs with an umbrellas, those are all free. So the earlier you get off the ship, the closer your beach chair is gonna to be to the water. But there are plenty of chairs, plenty of beach umbrellas, even when there's two Oasis class ships. So that could be upwards of 10,000 plus people at Coco Cay at the same time. But still no problem finding a beach chair if you want. Now if you're just not feeling a beach day and you wanna have a pool day, not a problem. Oasis Lagoon Pool is the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean. And it's right next to all the other beaches. So you could even have a pool day and a beach day, or just one or the other if you want it. Now, Oasis Lagoon has a nice swim up bar. This is gonna be the most crowded area, and it has a DJ playing. It is quite loud there. And if you duck your head underwater, you can even hear the music underwater. And if you go further away from the bar, it is gonna be quieter. And you're gonna even find some chairs that are in the water. And it is a walk-in pool as well. And one other fun fact here is, you can actually bring kids that are not potty trained in a swim up diaper in the pool. And the reason why is because it's not on the ship. So if you have a young kid and they're in a swim up diaper because they're not fully potty trained or they are and you just wanna be extra careful, you can bring them in the Oasis Lagoon pool. But if you stay a little bit later, I'll show you even more fun places for kids. And now that you found your pool chair or your beach chair and you've already taken a dip, don't forget, you can actually exchange your towel on Coco K. You can simply just bring it to a towel station and change it out. Or if you completely forgot, you can just get your towel for the first time. You just need your CPAS card. And while you're relaxing in that chair, you may wanna be browsing the internet. Well, good thing is, is if you purchase the internet on the ship or before your cruise, the internet actually works at Perfect Day at Coco K. No additional charge, so you can go ahead and get on Facebook, Instagram, and show all the friends of how much fun you're having. This also includes the drink package. So if you've got the drink package on the ship, you also have the drink package on Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So swim up bar or wherever you want, your drink package includes everything. If you don't have the drink package, it's gonna be those normal high prices using your CPAS card. About the only drink that I can't find on there is coffee. Now let's talk about all the free food. All the food you see is gonna be included with the exception of the food at the bar of Captain Jack's where you could order some wings. We're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna get the free stuff. So there are snack shacks and there's two sit down places. So there's a total of three different snack shacks, which is one of my favorites. One of them is in the water park, so we're not gonna go there because it costs money to go in there. And then there's two different sit down places. There's a Trill Grill and a Skipper's Grill. Both are of course are near Oasis of the Lagoon as well as the beaches. And then there's two snack shacks. One of them, of course, is close to Oasis Lagoon Pool. Now at the Trill Grill and Skipper's Grill, it's gonna be similar food what you're gonna find on the Windjammer Buffet. You know, you're gonna have your tacos, your barbecue, fresh salads, uh, as well as some free ice cream. Now the snack shack is quick and easy food. And it's got one of my favorite items on the island, or even on the ship for that matter. It's the secret sandwich, which is really just a chicken sandwich and you ask them to add mozzarella sticks. Now I really like mozzarella sticks and mozzarella sticks on a chicken sandwich just makes it that much better. But that is a secret sandwich 
that isn't all that secret anymore. And of course, the funnel cakes, those are really good too. So if you're gonna do the sit down buffet, no problem, but save room for that secret chicken sandwich and maybe a funnel cake for later in the day. Now, if you wanna be a little bit more active than a beach day or a pool day, you can play some other activities as well, such as a basketball game. Maybe you wanna play some Connect Four or Cornhole, Jenga, or they even have a pool game, but you play it like you're passing a soccer ball. If you wanna be in the water and do some activities, you could go snorkeling. Now, yes, that kinda of costs money. You could do it as an excursion, which I'm not gonna recommend, but if you just brought your snorkeling gear with you, you can go snorkeling for free. And it is some really good clear water. So I highly recommend doing a free snorkeling activity on your own. And if you're getting any value out of this, be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, let's talk kids. There's really two main places that you're gonna to wanna to be with kids if you're not at the beach, which is the Harbor Beach and the inlet where there's no waves. That's Captain Jill's Gallium, which is right as you enter the park, right in the front. This is good for little kids. My three-year-old didn't really care for it, so we went to the big Splash Away Bay. This is where my kids had the most fun. There's a couple big buckets of drenching water and some small slides. They run around for hours on end and have a lot of fun. And it's fun playing with them as well. And then there's also three little slides that are right next door that you only have to be 36 inches. And they got a little lifeguard there or you can go down in the water and kind of catch your kid as well and help take them out. Well, the lifeguard will hand you the kid, but you can go down there as well. And in my next video reviewing Coco K Beach Club, I'm gonna continue mispronouncing Perfect Day at Coco K. I know, it's Coco Key. But if you think it should be Coco K, go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you very much. This is Brian, Tips for Cruisers.